Hello everyone, back with a new set of videos for you. This time around we're going to cover more exothermic reactions. Uh, that is uh, fire through um, instantaneous chemical reaction with one or more chemicals put together. Um, so this time around, uh, this first one we're going to do here is going to be using sugar, just good old fashioned sugar, and uh, potassium permanganate. Uh, many of us know what potassium permanganate is. Uh, and a lot of us carry it with us. Uh, anyways, this stuff is great for uh, purifying water. It's also used as fertilizer. Um, and as well, it works fantastic in several different manners with exothermic uh, reactions to create survival type fires. Uh, so uh, we're gonna get going here with it. Uh, let's, let's do this. Let's get, uh, let's get our stuff going here. Get some sugar. We want to go about equal parts as much as possible. This type of fire is caused by friction. And I don't like using that much potassium permanganate, but that's okay. We'll get more. So the next step here, guys, is to just go ahead and mix it up real good. Just kind of blend it together. You don't have to spend an hour doing it. Just kind of blend it up. Basically, all you want to do is create friction. Sometimes this works really fast. What I've noticed is that the fresher the sugar is, the quicker it goes. This sugar's been in my cabinet for, I don't know, a couple months. Just up there as a kind of backup, and the kids use it all up. Stuff I practiced recently with was brand new, and it fired right up. stick. Alright, what do we have here? Alright, there you go. Fire by friction, sugar, and potassium permanganate. Voila. Always remember, potassium permanganate is caustic. The smoke from it will make you sick. Also, it will stain your hands, it will stain your clothing. Don't breathe the smoke. Safety first. Thank you. <laughs> 